Well, hi everybody. Can you believe it? Amazingly, the Spirit moved me to uncover, and believe me, this Mira uh, or Myra uh, Grand, our music box here, uh, one of two that we have in the 18 and a half inch size has been buried with stuff in front of it, on top of it. I'm not going to show you what I had to move to get to it, but I've not played this music box in probably three years. But I thought, you know, off offline I've gotten, uh, from my Music Box Boy channel, I've gotten messages from uh, music box people saying hey can you please uh, feature some of your music box discs again because we haven't seen one in a while and they're they're right you know I've I've been featuring mostly uh, phonographs from my collection and early records anyway so I thought this morning like I said the spirit moved me got up out of bed and said you know I'm gonna play a couple of um, music box discs and the old uh, Myra um, Concert Grand 18 and a half inch music box here. It's been a long time. I was stunned at, you know, I, I just played this one particular disc once through and it was like, whoa, that sounds fantastic. Why have I kept this thing covered up all this time? But I've just been more into crank phonographs and so forth lately than I have music boxes. But anyway, maybe this will inspire me to, to go out and buy more discs and music boxes. I don't know. But for now, I'd like to play for you one of my favorite. This is Love Me and the World is Mine. I don't think I featured this one on my channel yet. But it is absolutely beautiful. It, uh, especially the last half when they do the uh, refrain or the chorus I'm not sure which but it's just a lovely disc and uh, it almost brought tears to my eyes it was so wonderful to hear it again because I've not played this particular disc in probably 10 years or more and it was great to hear it again anyway I hope you enjoy it folks and as always thanks for stopping in kick it off Wasn't that beautiful? Hope you enjoyed it. 